Hi there. Um, I thought I would take a couple minutes and show you some simple ways to take your own measurements at home so you can figure out what size you are in any clothing when you're online shopping. So all you will need is a measuring tape. If you don't have one of these at home, you can also use a string or a belt or something that you can wrap around your body and then measure it with a flat ruler or a yardstick. So uh, classic measurements are bust, waist, hips. Um, so to take these, they're just a circumference of these parts of your body. The bust measurement is just the widest part of your bust. So it's usually around your nipple line. Um, I like to get that measurement and then take a little bit of a deep breath to expand. And then that is your bust measurement. For waist, you're gonna hit the natural waist on your body. So that's usually right around where your belly button is or the skinniest part of your waist, wherever that tapers in. Um, that's your natural waist or high-waisted is sort of where you would think of that also hitting if you're wearing high-waisted pants or britches. Um, and then for your hip measurement, you're gonna hit right the at the, the largest part of your bottom um, and those are that's going to be your hip measurement right there so just the circumference of those three spots uh, we also will list leg openings so sometimes we'll do a thigh opening like on bridges um, and that is just the circumference of your thigh and then you would compare that measurement to the opening of the garment and then on our perfect pants we will sometimes list the calf opening so again it's just sort of the widest part of your calf that you would need to fit through the opening of a garment and you would just take the circumference of that of that area and then compare that to the measurement on the garment also um, one of the trickier measurements to, to understand what it refers to and then also to take on yourself is the measurement of the rise. So that is really the point of where the crotch of the pant is gonna hit and then the waist of the pant. This is gonna determine if you're gonna have camel toe or if it's gonna be weird to sit in, if your butt's gonna have enough room. Um, so to find that measurement, you're gonna place your measuring tape right at your belly button and then reach the measuring tape under your bottom area, right to the center of your crotch. Um, pinch it there and then that is your your own personal rise measurement and in the next video I'll show you how we take that measurement on a pair of pants and then how you'll determine what size um, is best for your body so that's your rise measurement and then lastly I'm going to show you how to take the a length measurement so you were shopping for a dress or for overalls and you want to see where it's going to hit you um, if you need to get a petite version or the short version sometimes we offer so if you're taking that measurement you know, we always measure that on a garment from the top center seam, so the shoulder seam, to the hem of the garment. If you take that measurement and you place it on your body and you bend down to see where that's gonna hit you, it's never gonna be accurate because it's gonna move as you bend down. So a little pro tip is to grab a clothespin or some sort of a clip or a piece of tape or something. And let's say the dress is 50 inches long you're gonna place your clothespin or your marker at that 50 inch mark. And then you're gonna place the other end of your clothespin or the other end of your measuring tape at your shoulder. And then in a full length mirror, you can step back and see exactly where the length of that garment is going to fall on your own body. So there you go. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks guys.